Black Clover has set off Judgment Day with a bang. And you're in for a treat here because this chapter has gone absolutely bonkers. Now, if you could open up your grimoire and use your mana on that like button, I'd greatly appreciate that. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Now, last chapter, Jack got absolutely dumpstered on. Morian just pulled up and straight took a poop on this guy. The other Magic Knight captains come to his aid, of course. Yami's like, he, he's already, yeah, he's out of there. <laughs> Now, William here uses his world tree magic to try and recover Jack's wounds. So Jack might be okay, but I don't know if William has healing magic that's going to be able to recover him from that though. Like we saw with how Mimosa uses ultimate magic with her healing and she was able to bring Gaja from a hole in his chest back to full health. But William's not like a healing mage. But then again, I don't know, maybe he has healing on par with Mimosa, but that would be crazy. B for real nonetheless william is the first one to challenge lucius and he just goes straight in he says i am who i am today because of julius sama even if it cost me my life i'll stop you now it's actually crazy here how they flipped the script because if we remember back in the elf arc how william was sharing bodies with patry and patry had took over william's body and attacked julius and now it's kind of flipped the script because we later find out that julius was actually sharing a body with lucius so now lucius has taken over julius Julius's body and is fighting William. That's crazy. We really got a bizarre world going on here in Black Clover. Like what? <laughs> and of course, here is the same story. Lucius is just far more powerful than William. And since it's this case, he doesn't have to watch out for any citizens or anything like that. He can just go all out and use his time magic. Absolutely broken, by the way. As he says, regretfully, you are not my opponent. As he straight dooms on William. His time magic works so fast. He casts a time spell that touches William and it almost instantaneously ages his limbs and they just straight disintegrate off of him. It's crazy. What? And he's just straight up cold right here. Charlotte's all like, William, no. And he's like, yeah, none of you have the power to stop me. Now, we bear witness to the final judgment. So as I thought, yeah, those weren't actually birds in the sky. They were angels. Now, I think this is what they were talking about when they said he could straight up make his own people. So his experiment must have been successful because we remember they were talking about how he was going to use the dark tree as power, you know, blood, bone and body magic along with the soul magic to straight up create his own beings. And I guess that's what he did here. He straight up just made a bunch of angels and now they're flying around. So we see the other magic knights here and they're just bearing witness to this and they're frozen from fear. One of them here goes, there's no way we can stop them. We can't protect anyone. Right after they say that a beam is coming from the angels and it's just straight up like, perish and this is crazy because we straight up just see light beams showering from the sky like rain and it's coming down upon the entire clover kingdom absolutely crazy now i wonder if this is a combo spell between him and morgan because obviously he created these angels here and of course morgan has light magic so then they can combine that and probably do that but it didn't show that they were using a combined spell but i don't know nonetheless this is crazy because this is a country-wide attack that's aimed at all the citizens all the magic knights everyone but out of the cut we see yuno's stars and yuno straight up pulls a julius here as we know with his newfound star magic he can use the stars to teleport objects or to even teleport himself or other people but in this instance he straight up covered the entire sky over the clover kingdom and used that to redirect the beams and with that he just casually nullifies that entire attack solo on his own casually in fact that's why he's the goat and the citizens here are just shocked. They're like, what? We're not dead? What was that magic? How could he prevent an attack that big? And as we can see, Yuno has both his grimoires out. I'd just like to remind everyone here, notice how Yuno is still in his base form. And me and Yami here were thinking the same thing. He's straight up like, it's only been a year and a few months, but the kid's gotten this much stronger. There's no way he just casually nullified that attack from Lucius in his base form. That's crazy. The real is the real one. 
just me. I'm him. I'm not them. I'm him, Jones. I'm I'm him, Duncan. Now I do gotta say, it's so nice seeing both you know and Austin be able to hold their own against Lucius's attacks. Because as we remember in the beginning of the arc, Lucius uses time magic to pretty much freeze everyone when he first appeared. But Austin was pretty much immune to it. Not only that, but he was able to use his Demon Destroyer sword to nullify the attack, and he was able to hold his own against Lucius for a short amount of time until he turned Sister Lily into a Palad, and then that caught him off guard, and then he just straight up one shot at him. But other than that, Austin straight up pulled off an impressive feat against Lucius, and that. That was before he learned Zetan. And then of course seeing Yuno being able to do the same thing, but even on a bigger scale actually, because this was a countrywide attack, it's crazy to see how far they've gone. But we could even see a flashback here of when Julius did the same thing to nullify Patri's attack. But what's crazy here is William straight up just admits that Yuno is far stronger than him. He just sees that and he just like, yeah, without a doubt, you're far stronger than me, you go ahead and handle this. <laughs> Not only that, but he straight up declares you know the captain of the Golden Dawn as he stands in front of Lucius menacingly. He's just standing there menacingly. Now that is cold. That boy just earned his title as captain of the Golden Dawn in a matter of seconds. That is crazy. We gotta know Asta's gonna be devastated to hear this. Now that'd be crazy to see Asta come back, pull off a feat, and just be declared the captain of the Black Bulls. Now that'd be awesome. But nonetheless, yeah, that is wild so much is happening in such short amount of time it's man and we know you know here is not playing at all because we get a flashback here when Asa was seemingly killed by Lucius hey. in the beginning of the arc not knowing that sister Lily used spatial magic on him to teleport him away their family pretty much assumed that he was gonzo <laughs> And of course they were grieving over his death and that's of course why you know will never forgive lucius he says however the reason i'm going to defeat you isn't because i can't forgive you it's because i am the man who will become the wizard king and we can see the bandages over his arm start unraveling and i think that's foreshadowing him maybe transforming into his spirit dive form because as we see there's like sparks around we might even see a new ability here but lucius of course says as expected i will have to destroy you so yeah we're about to see an epic battle between Yuno and Lucius. Today I got time, cuz! Okay, so now I think I finally understand Tabata's mindset here. For so long, people were thinking, why was Lucifero disposed of so easily? So many people were calling it like Disney Clover, like what? There's no real stakes. But I think I get it now. The whole purpose behind Lucifero and like the Dark Triad and the Spade Kingdom art with the high ranking devils as well, I definitely think that was mostly just to set like a baseline for the power because as we remember throughout the spade kingdom invasion arc like there was a lot of power creep because a lot of the magic knights they had learned ultimate magic some of them learned saint stayed magic as well because as we've seen with yuno and noel they were able to take out the dark triad members solo not only that but magna was able to take down dante on his own as well without saint stage magic and then of course at the end of that arc everybody had to gang up on lucifero but after that there was a time skip and you know they all got training for like a year and some change right so if we see just how strong the people in the land of the sun were you know there's seven reviews and after that year and few months of training that asta had with his anti-magic and with the devil union it seems like they were just able to casually just beat up on him and then now we see what you know here is capable of we see that morgan can just one shot jack a magic knight captain the baseline for power has just been risen and i think the whole spade kingdom invasion arc the purpose for that was just to kind of set the stage like this is what the high level of magic power ultimate magic saint state magic this is what all that is capable of so we get a new villain here that's completely absurdly overpowered in every single way we only have a few people who are actually able to hold a candle to him now of course lucifer was also absurdly broken as well but lucius is a lot more strategic in how he moves and he has people on his side that provide value to him so i definitely feel like this direction is definitely the way to go because things are going absolutely crazy right now well if you made it this far i appreciate you sticking around if you could hit that like button i'd greatly appreciate that consider subscribing as well you will like it here i promise well i'll see you in the next one thank you for watching